Well, welcome to the uh, Elecraft K3. Uh, this, uh, this is our club radio and was uh, built by club members of course. And this is uh, a short tutorial just to tell you about uh, the operation and the use of the functions on the, the front panel of the rig. So uh, first of all I'll just uh, power up. This is this uh, button here, just a tap for the power. You can see it, uh, it comes on nicely. And uh, right, we can have a look at the functions now. We'll start from this uh, left hand side here. Uh, band, mode and power switches. And then we'll look at some of the secondary functions and also the uh, uh, AF gain and RF gain and so on. And some of the filtering around here. Uh, so first of all, this one is on uh, currently CW mode. If you look in the right hand side, you'll see CW. Uh, to change mode, uh, you simply uh, hit this button here, this mode up or mode down key. It's a tap. And all of a sudden you see it on uh, SSB. Tap again, FM, uh, AM, data, and back to CW. Uh, for the band selection, it's this... Uh, Top right, a uh, top left switch here. Uh, band up takes you to 18 megs, 21 megs, 24.9, and so on. Back down, 10 megs, 7 megs, 5 megs, 3.5, and uh, of course top band. So it's just a, a simple push button. You'll see on this that uh, the, the, the instructions, if you like, are or details printed actually on the uh, button uh, in white and that means you just tap the uh, switch to hit the function and behind that actually on the uh, the body of the front panel in yellow you see the secondary function and uh, in, in this case if you look at uh, say um, uh, ATU tune you tap uh, let's go to another band here first tap tune to tune it 1.2 to 1 but if you want to do any controls on the ATU, which is underneath there in yellow, you hold it so you can put it in bypass. Hold it again to put it back into auto. So this is a tap and hold function on all aircraft rigs. And it takes a bit of getting used to, but uh, with practice of course and operating, you'll soon get the hang of it, I'm sure. An AF control here, this is, uh, as normal, of course. RF control here, RF gain control. The antenna uh, selection, just a push button on ANT, antenna 2, antenna 1. Uh, on the club rig, you'll be on uh, antenna 1. There's also um, a transmit function here, tap. Or if you want to put a tuning signal out into a, an ATU or something, you can hit tune, it's actually you hold tune. And it gives you 5 watts out depending on what you set it to. If you look at the control down here, this one here, this is the uh, power control. You can turn it up to 100 and odd watts or down well, almost to zero, I guess. Uh, and take it off tune again. These um, functions down here, these four, these are um, uh, a, bit, a bit more complicated, I'd say. You have this one currently lit on power. If you push it, I'll just tap it once, it goes to compression. You can alter your compression on SSB. I uh, suggest something like 22 or, or 20 is enough. Um, hit it again, back to the power control. And also, if you hold it, you see under there it says MON, monitor. Uh, if you want to monitor your uh, CW tone, you can turn the volume up on that or down accordingly. Again, just tap it to come away from the function. Uh, the speed of the, the, the key is here, 24 words a minute, so you can wind it right down or, or right up to 40 on it. So. On this one also there's a, another push function, you can go to the mic gain, currently on 36, it's a little bit high I think, so I'll take it down uh, maybe 16. The actual filtering side, if I come in a bit closer, you can see this here. Um, currently, uh, this is on 400 hertz. You can see this uh, window here with the, the width of the signal. You can alter the width here of the uh, filter. 
take it right down or widen it, widen it out. You've got a tap for high cut or if you go back to width again you can tap this one for low cut. You can see that uh, picture changing here with the, uh, the, the, uh, the bandwidth. You've also got shift, you can shift the uh, centre frequency and quite a bit again you just uh, hit tap there. So a, a lot of functions uh, to play with of course. If you go to the, so the other side here now, you've got menu, so tap the menu and this is the main menu, you can, you can check LCD brightness and you can uh, increase it on the VFOA, the big uh, above the front here. I'll leave, I'll leave it on generally two or three. That's enough. I'll take it down to two, I think. Right. And um, if you use VFO, if I come out a bit on this, let's have a look. If you use the, use the other VFO, VFOB, this one down here, you can uh, go through these functions LCD, display, LED brightness, mic selection, uh, line out message repeat, all sorts of other functions. Um, so you can see it's quite a minefield of, uh, of stuff here. So it's a good idea to probably just leave it well alone the menu and uh, config uh, key. But just tap menu again, come out of it. Uh, config, if, if you see the, the, yellow, the yellow lettering here, it's config, so to get into the config menu you hold it. And you can see straight away that the latest division of this uh, microprocessor is 4.22. You can download firmware updates from the Alacraft site uh, quite regularly and there's quite a few uh, good added functions uh, available. Uh, the recent one is the use of uh, an APF filter uh, built into the firmware. Um, if, again you can use the um, right hand VFO here to go through uh, the different functions. Uh, this one for instance you've got uh, bandpass filter 3 not installed, um, voice recorder not installed, K103, um, I don't know what that is, that's some sort of uh, transverter out I think. Noise blanker in normal, and, um, the PA is in normal now. So you can scan through all these um, functions. Um, th this one here now is the front panel temperature. Let's have a look now. FM deviation 4.6. There's all sorts of uh, stuff you really need to get into the book to understand before you start playing with it. So. I wouldn't encourage uh, the use of that too much to be honest with you. Right, the next one here now is display. Uh, currently you can see the uh, this, this left hand corner here, you can see it's on SWR and uh, RF output. You can hit display again. Have a look. I'm sorry, meter I'm looking at. <laughs> uh, compression now on the, and ALC functions. So it's back to uh, SWR. In the right hand side here you can see uh, the time. You can Using the VFOB you can scan through that to get the date. Um, supply voltage, supply uh, used, used uh, current, uh, PA temperature, front panel temperature, all sorts of uh, other information down here. You generally wouldn't need to use this much. I tend to leave mine set on, uh, on date and time. So I'll leave it there. Uh, this one has got uh, an ATU of course and it's a built-in ATU, we can handle um, reasonable um, uh, impedances, uh, ten, 10 to 1 uh, it'll bring it in quite nicely. If you look at the, the button it says ATU tune in white so obviously it's, it's a tap to make it tune so it pulls it in quite nicely. And when you tune it goes to 5 watts automatically so you don't need to reduce your power at all. Uh, if, you, if you want to run another ATU or maybe um, put the output from the rig into a linear you can go into ATU underneath here and hold and put it into bypass it makes life uh, a little bit easier uh, they don't have two ATUs fighting each other I guess we'll come out of that again so it's uh, back in auto again just quick tune okay uh, you'll find that uh, once you've tuned your antenna at a certain frequency uh, it'll tend to remember it after a few attempts and the actual tuning time is much less but with the first time you tune it may take a few seconds uh, to do so. 
Uh, we'll take a look at the right hand side of the, um, the controls here now. Uh, down the bottom here you have uh, a lock for frequency, a hold for the lock of course. And hold to come out again. You've got a tuning rate. You can you go coarse or fine tuning to suit uh, your uh, application. Maybe on CW you want a bit of fine tuning. Uh, on the right hand side here again now you've got um, a memory button here. Well there's four memory buttons. You can assign this uh, for maybe recording messages on CW and if you've got the digital voice recorder installed you can actually do that as well. So for instance if I hit M1 now I get So you need to stop that, just hit the button again. Um, so again, it's um, a useful function. You've got preamp, let just zoom in a bit here. You've got um, preamp button and hold for an attenuator underneath. You've got um, some functions around the uh, A and B VFO which I haven't really used to be honest with you so I couldn't tell you much about that but you can work splits and so on you'd have to refer to the manual for uh, for more info on that uh, another function we just downloaded from the uh, Elecraft website is this uh, Xfill um, if you um, hold Xfill it brings in an audio pig filter uh, this is a 30 hertz wide filter for picking out some of the marginal stations on CW so if I just go down to the the bottom end of this uh, 20 meter band for instance here let's try and find a weaker signal I'll give you an example of what it's uh, capable of if you can find a weak signal uh, it's a bit um, it's a bit loud but let's have a look here see what we can do right if I hold this X fill now Now there's some ringing which you'd expect with a filter that narrow but uh, when you do have a marginal station it can just bring it in. It won't work miracles but I've worked at least half a dozen stations which I couldn't have worked before without the uh, APF filter so it's, uh, so it's uh, a useful function so hold that filter get out again. Next fill. There we go. So this is currently on about uh, 300 hertz. Oh, that's a nice one to pick out maybe. Let's try and get So it's quite a useful function for uh, CW enthusiasts. I'll just come out again. Let's go to SSB. Um, on the mode switch here we can go to SSB and go maybe to the top end of the band. Go to course maybe. There we go. Okay, so that's um, back to SSP again. There is um, a noise reduction facility, like a DSP. If you look to the right hand side here, you've got just tap it for NR. It's a typical um, fuzzy sort of sound you get from the DSP, but um, you can tailor it uh, a little bit as well with the instructions are in the, in the manual. This is only uh, into a little bit of wire, by the way, so we can't expect too much in the way of decent signals, I guess. Take the noise reduction off. We've also got a noise blanker here, uh, NB. So it just takes some of the hash out quite nicely. Okay, um, we've also got, uh, if you want to start reading some more down here, you've got this one called Text Decode. You can have a play with that. Uh, if we go down to the bottom end of the band again, 